Well, great. My rat dog just rolled in some other dog's poop, literally, just now. It's on her shoulder, and it's disgusting, and it smells like other dog poop, and I don't know if it's some kind of misguided attempt at dog dominance, or if this is like the social thing that you just have to do. Don't lick me. I don't know where your tongue's been. You're gross to me right now. Here's the thing, though. I really, really love Maya. She's a great dog. She belongs with our family, and we really like having her inside, and she cuddles up by the bed and by my feet when we're sitting around at night watching TV and stuff, and she's awesome. But we have a strong no poop in the house rule because of how poop is. So she does not have opposable digits. She does not have human social sense. There's literally no chance of her dealing with her own poop problem. So the reason that she's being all sheepish right now is that she can hear that hose over there running and she knows that she is about to get a bath from me. Which means that even though I didn't roll in the poop, this isn't my fault, I didn't do this, I'm going to get poop and water all over myself as I solve her problem because I love her and I want her to come in my house even though she rolls in disgusting stuff sometimes. Here's the deal, you can probably see where this is going. The thing between God and humanity is very, very similar. A little more complicated, but similar. You got this God who owns the house and stuff in there is clean and God has certain standards. And then you got us, we're the dog in this part of the equation. And we roll around in stuff and sometimes it's our own fault that we get into the mess of the human problem. Sometimes other people do it to us. Sometimes it just happens and nobody's really to blame. The Bible calls this sin and it's, well, it's our issue. It's the yuck that we track around with us. But the Bible gives the really strong impression that God loves us a lot more, even though I really like you, than I love this puppy. Oh, thanks for the hugs. And God, rather than saying, ah, you got poop on you, we're just done here, instead goes about his business in taking care of that problem for us because we can't solve the problem for ourselves. And that's what the whole Jesus cross thing is about. So 2 Corinthians 5.21 talks about uh, how does it go? Uh, God made him who was without sin to become sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And there are two things going on there. Thing number one is that God takes something away from us. In this case, it's that poop. Thing number two is that God gives us something, and that is his rightness, his righteousness, his standing of cleanness, which gives us the ability to be in the metaphorical house. Maybe I stretch the analogy a little bit, but I think you see what I'm saying. So when we talk about the whole question of how do things get right between fallen humanity and perfect God, two parts to it, both of them run through Jesus. Part one is that the yuck that we get on us, sometimes it's our fault, sometimes it's not, that gets cleaned up by Jesus' work at the cross. Part number two is that we are given something, and that is the rightness of God, that is standing as being a part of the family of God, and therefore we're made clean and we're made welcome into the presence of God. This poor puppy right here, little Maya girl, is cowering because she hates baths, but it has to happen. I can't let you in there. Oh, that's adorable. It doesn't matter. I can't let you in the house without getting rid of the poop. All right, wish me luck. I'm Matt. This is the 10 Minute Bible Hour. See you soon.